he's no longer ours or a part of our life or even we're not even a party to his life. Brett's mom, Lorraine, recounts the nightmare of watching her son being taken from her care. It's also not frustration to us, it's frustration to his sister, to his brothers, to his friends. It's, it's all devastating, all devastating. When Brett was first admitted to Providence Hospital, his parents say they supported his treatment. But as the tests and drugs failed to help or even diagnose him, they started to question the staff, and things took a turn for the worse. There have been lies and allegations and false report of harm. Lorraine says because of those allegations, she can't see her son, who is now a ward of the state. Your loved ones, your friends, the people that that love you the most is who has you at heart, not strangers that you don't even know. Let's take a picture together. Huh? Let's take a picture together. Lorraine hasn't seen Brett since early December. His father's last visit was on Christmas Eve. Psych rights president James Gottstein says this happens more often than you'd think. You've got someone that is disturbed or disturbing and they say, well, we want you to do this, and if the, the person says, no, I don't want to do it, or let's talk about it, it's like, oh, we don't have time for this. Say yes, or we'll make you do it, and it's the path of least resistance.